Hello people, uh, welcome to the business end, I'm Anthony and today this video I'm going to show you how to download Windows 10 and or Windows 11 from the Microsoft official website. Right, what you will need is at least an 8 gigabyte USB, doesn't matter whether it's empty or not, you, it, it will format the hard drive and delete anything that's on there. Obviously you will need internet connection and about approximately 20 minutes of your time. Uh, this as I said will work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 and then once you've got that downloaded you can then use it to install on any laptop or PC. Uh, if you want check out one of my other videos which will be somewhere at the end which shows you how to install the Windows uh, from a USB onto a laptop okay so uh, yeah let's get on with it so uh, first use Google or whatever it is, is to go onto the internet and then type in Windows 10 download first page you'll come up to is the Microsoft Windows don't click on upgrade unless you're upgrading what you want is the Windows 10 download uh, download tool click on that and then uh, you can see top right hand corner it's downloading and then uh, wait for it to un wait for it to, to download and then once it's done that then just unpack it uh, so you open it and uh, there it is here uh, uh, before I forget make sure that you've got your USB plugged in so then it goes through the uh, preparation getting a few things ready and that is checking the compatibility of your system uh, if the USB is there and uh, and and downloading some files uh, I'm not going to go for a step-by-step -step, like every process because the video is self-explanatory uh, click on uh, accept then If you want to read the term and conditions, All right, and then it goes back to the getting a few things ready page. Uh, this generally takes about 20 minutes, the whole lot, but the initial part really depends on the, the speed of your PC or laptop, whatever you're downloading it from, and uh, your internet speed. Uh, my machine is, is relatively fast but I'm downloading over Wi-Fi so I've cut out the parts of of uh, the whole downloading most of the downloading process because it's too long so I click on uh, create a bootable media and then I untick the ideal because I'm not downloading this for this machine I'm downloading it so that I can use it and then I click on the USB flash drive uh, and then it gives you a selection of what now I always go back into the machine to just double check that it's the it's the right one I'm clicking on and that's it there the ESD so just to double check so that I don't I have white uh, USBs before being uh, the wrong ones uh, and then click on uh, getting ready uh, downloading so uh, it will download this and uh, and this bit is really boring so I will catch you uh, near the end
So now that it's downloaded your Windows 10, then it jumps to the verifying your download. And then once it's then verified that all the files are needed to, uh, to install, then it will move on to creating your USB, uh, USB Windows 10 download. And, uh, and then from here, we will cut to the end. Right, and then now we're coming to the end of uh, this. We've skipped to the end to uh, the downloading. Unfortunately, I must have deleted the file that shows the final part that when it gets to the end, the, the, the uh, next button becomes clickable, but that's what happens. The next button becomes clickable. You click it, it will then delete the files, and then you have a usable Windows 10 or Windows 11 uh, uh, USB which you can then use to use on uh, any laptop or PC anyway hope you found this useful uh, if you if you like please uh, click on the subscribe button take care